Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Sophie. I'm super excited to be back with another makeup tutorial for you guys today. I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this black and brown smoky eye. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this exact look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. And also if you guys want to be entered for our monthly giveaway, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, turn your post notifications on, and then comment done down below if you live in the US because our giveaway is US only. So jumping right into the tutorial, I wanted to make a really quick uh, tutorial on how to do a black smoky eye. So that's exactly what I'm doing today. I first primed my eyes with some concealer and then set it with translucent powder and for today's palette I'm using the Morphe 3503 palette and I'll leave the other uh, product details in the description box down below but I pretty much just grabbed the neutral transition color that I pointed at and I just really buffed that into my crease and then I'm going into this darker brown shade with this angled brush and I'm just really mapping out my shape and keeping this color pretty low because I feel like when we're going to be building so much depth, I like to start as low as possible because we are going to be blending up. So I'll show you guys exactly how I do it in the next few steps. But after I've drawn that line of definition, I go into a big fluffy tapered brush. And I literally just go in left and right motions over top of that line and I'm picking up more of that dark brown shadow that I picked up first to draw that line of definition. So we're just literally going in left and right motions diffusing that line and be very very careful with how you blend it out because if you go too high it's going to be really hard to fix that error. Next I'm going into this ColourPop eyeliner brush and I'm going into the black shadow in the palette and I'm drawing this line exactly where I applied the first line of definition and we're going to just start to build a gradient and applying those lighter, sh lighter shades first kind of gave us something to work with so when we blend it out it has something to naturally blend into. So I personally like doing lightest to darkest, but I know some people like to just jump right into the dark shades. But I find that it's easiest to slowly, slowly build color. So I'm going into an even smaller tapered brush this time. And I picked up a little bit of that dark brown shade and a little bit of that black shade to help me diffuse that line. And then I just grabbed this angled brush with some NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Contouring Concealer. And I'm just carving my lid and my crease all the way up into the center of my lid and then I'm grabbing a flat brush with the dark brown shadow and I'm just packing that pigment over top of where we applied that concealer and if you don't set that concealer really good with translucent powder before it can come out a little bit patchy and I was kind of worried that it would be patchy but it didn't turn out so bad. I went into this pencil brush and the black shadow and I really was able to pat that onto that outer edge and just really diffuse that into the brown shade. And then I just peeled off my tape. For lashes today, I'm using my Shop Sophie Bella Bahama Lashes. Link to check out our lash company will always be in the description box down below. And then I'm grabbing my CoverGirl liner. This is from the from the Full Spectrum collection. And I'm just applying this in my waterline. I think that this black liner is really good. And then I'm grabbing the first transition color that we applied up top in the crease. And I'm just going to apply the same shades that we applied in the crease just on the lower lash line. So just first buffing that shade out and then going into the darker brown shadow with this really flat detailed brush getting as close to those lower lashes as physically possible <laughs> and then going back into that black shadow with the eyeliner brush and once again getting that as close to the lower lashes as possible and then going back into that first smudger brush and really diffusing everything together and that's pretty much all the blending for this look I'm just doing two more steps I'm going to be applying some mascara this one is the Mad Lash by The Balm and I'm just coating my lower lashes. And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm going into my Pop Beauty Gilded Light Highlight, which is one of my favorites for the inner corner. 
And then this is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you recreate this look, definitely let me know how it goes. Tag me on Instagram. And yeah, we are keeping up with our daily uploads. So don't forget to check back on our channel every single day to check for a new upload. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!